What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the hardest platinum trophies to get on PlayStation. Let's get right into this. So as you guys know, I am a trophy hunter, but I also just enjoy playing video games in general, but definitely getting a game and being able to obtain a platinum trophy is always a huge accomplishment and I absolutely enjoy doing that. Now there are some games that are extremely difficult to get the platinum trophy, whether they're just a sports game and a lot of people just stop playing the game once the new game comes out and now you can't get a lot of the online trophies or some of the trophies are extremely grindy or glitchy there are a lot of games that are difficult to get the platinum trophy today i'm going to be going through some of my hardest that i actually got the platinum for let's get started up first is battlefield 5 this game is by far the hardest game that i've ever been able to platinum i platinumed it at the end of 2021 almost at the end of 2021 and the reason that it's the hardest platinum that I've ever played is because some of the trophies are extremely glitchy and extremely grindy to get and it does take a long time to get the platinum especially with a lot of the online trophies some of them are extremely difficult now you can go and be able to play with other people and obtain some of these online trophies but some of them it just takes a long time to do for example one of the trophies that are extremely grindy and glitchy is one where you have to get an overall score for online of 500,000. This trophy never popped for me until I was about 800,000 or more for my overall player score. Now that's a huge difference from 500,000 having to wait till 800,000 till the trophy could actually pop. Another one that was extremely glitchy uh, and I found out, I guess, did resets in previous updates, the score counters resets, and that is to get 100,000 score for each of the four main classes. And I was able to do that, but it didn't pop right at 100,000 after I got 100,000 for each of them. For the sniper class, it didn't pop until about 150,000, and all the other ones, I was had to get them to be at 120,000 for this trophy to finally pop. So a lot of them are extremely grindy and extremely, to begin with, are grindy, but especially whenever they glitch and they're not popping when they should, is extremely difficult. You can contact EA, but they give you no help at all, and they don't even themselves tell you that the score counters resets in previous updates. So depending on when you started to play, if you started to play it at launch, compared to starting to play it now, if you start to play it now, the score counters will be accurate. So once you hit 100,000 for each of the classes, or 500,000 for the other trophy, then you will be able to get those trophies. Probably right once you hit the numbers, it will pop. But for us, that started when the game first launched. They did reset in... Uh, after a few updates. So that's extremely difficult, which is why I decided to put it on this list and I dub it as my hardest, the hardest game that I was able to get the platinum for. Next up is Car Mechanic Simulator, mainly because it's not for everybody. Some people might find this game extremely boring, thus not wanting to go and obtain the platinum for it. Some of the trophies are extremely grindy and does take a long time. The one hardest trophy that it's not hard, it just takes a long time to do is to sell 1000 cars. The reason it's so difficult is because when you go and you're in your garage and you want to go to the salon to purchase cars, it does take a long time loading into the salon. Then when you're there, you can only buy a max of three cars. Then you have to put them into your garage. Then you have to go back to your garage. So the load time back to your garage does take some time. Once you're there, you sell them. Now you just sold three cars and you have to repeat that until you're at a thousand. Now you can also go and play the game naturally and get it over time, but it will take a lot longer to do. If you have the money and you did go and make up a uh, decent amount, at least over a million, you can go to the salon, purchase all three cars, 
at whatever price they are and then go and sell them and you're not going to lose any money and you're going to continuously be able to do that but it does take a long time due to the load times going in between each of the places so that's why i decided to put on this list because it can be difficult at times next up is star wars battlefronts 2 on the playstation 4 this is an extremely grindy and time consuming trophy one that I decided to go for back whenever it was free for PS Plus, that's when I started to play the game, and it was a lot of fun. The story was amazing, I haven't played a Star Wars game since back on the PlayStation 2, so that aspect was very interesting, but a lot of the online stuff was very difficult. One trophy particularly, I forget the name of it now, but it was one where you had to go and as a certain uh, fighter jet, one of the fighter ones, you have to defeat... Uh, I think it was 10 or maybe it was 50 uh, hero ships. Well, whenever you're playing online, hero ships rarely come. Like, players rarely choose and select those hero ships, and they do take a lot longer to destroy. So whenever you see a hero ship, usually everybody that's on your team starts going and trying to defeat and be the one to get the final kill on that, then it dubs you. If you, you're just getting a ton of shots on it, but somebody else gets the final kill, they get the kill, and it counts for them, you get an assist, which doesn't count towards the trophy. So it does take a long time, and those are the most difficult ones. Any of the uh, fighter ones, or the starfighter, or whatever they're called, they are the most difficult trophies to get for this game, which is why I put it on this list. I eventually got it, but like I said, it just takes a long time. Next up is WWE 2K20. This game honestly isn't a hard trophy, a uh, hard game to platinum, but it does take some time. And this game was by far the most glitched game for WWE that's ever come out. So for a lot of people that are trying to get the platinum trophy and get trophies out of it, sometimes it just doesn't work for them, which is why I put it on this list. Now for me, everything that I played for this game, I play mostly uh, universe mode. Almost everything works there. All the customization, getting the custom championships and the custom attires, all of that worked for me. So I enjoyed the game thoroughly, but getting the platinum was definitely grindy because you'd be trying to attempt to get one of the trophies and the game would crash on you. So getting past all of that, you can get the Platinum, but some people just stop right there and don't go for the Platinum because it's such a headache with the game crashing all the time. Next up is Burnout Paradise Remastered. I actually had to go on my trophy list and see this game to remember the, how difficult this game was. It wasn't a hard game. It was a nice burnout video game. However, it is extremely grindy and very repetitive to go and play some of the races multiple times to get certain trophies. One of the most difficult trophies, which is where you have to have seven online players be in the arena at the same time. And even right after this game launched, about four months later is whenever I bought it, it was so difficult to find people that are playing online and to get this trophy. It was one of the last trophies that I had to get to get the platinum. Eventually I found a lobby that everybody was already there to begin with, probably trying to all get that trophy. So I was able to go down there and get the trophy, but it is one of the hardest trophies to get because especially now, this many years later, probably a lot of people are not playing the game. So it's probably a really, really hard trophy to get for uh, to obtain the platinum. And the last game is Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. I platinumed this on the PlayStation 4, which does have trophies, which was amazing. Now, the reason I'm putting this on the list is because it's not necessarily a hard game. It does take a lot of time. There's so many missions and so much stuff you have to do. And on top of that, there's so many other things and other trophies that you have to do. Uh, and it does take a lot of time. But the reason I put it on this list is because if you use... Um, cheat codes just once the trophies become disabled and you won't be able to get the platinum so if you're going to go for the platinum of this game I recommend do not even try to use any cheat codes because that will disable trophies meaning you will not be able to get the platinum for this game and of course GTA games especially the old ones people played them and always used cheat codes not knowing that on the PS4 version that it disables the trophies, which is why I put it on this list. The game's a lot of fun. I went and played the game and platinumed it and never used any cheat codes, and it was a lot of fun. I highly recommend it, but a lot of people go and play this game like they did back on the PS2 and use cheat codes, and then it disables all the trophies. So don't do that if you do have a problem 
and you do want to get the platinum for this game, do not use cheat codes. That is why I put it on this list because a lot of people don't realize that. So these are, in my opinion, the hardest platinums to get. But of course, there is a lot more difficult ones out there, but these are just the hardest ones that I was actually able to get over the years. And I'd like to hear some of the games that you think are the hardest platinums to get. Which ones have you earned yourself? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.